Right, so I've got a really simple, fast uh, dish today. Kids will love it, so a great family one, and it's great for a budget as well. Uh, we've got some chicken tenders, which I'm going to show you how to cut from here. We've got a nice Asian slaw, a uh, little sour... Uh, sweet chili and sour cream dressing and uh, I'm going to show you some little tips to get some extra flavour into your crumbs. So I'm going to show you that now. So we've got these beautiful panko crumbs here. So these are the Japanese bread crumbs, so a little bit more texture in here. And uh, you can just use them straight away if you want, but um, I like to put a little bit of paprika, paprika in there. So not too hot if you're going to cook for the kids at home. A little bit of dried oregano. And a little extra tip here, flavour maker, some little chicken stock cube. So just going to grind that up. So I'm getting some weird air looks from the audience over there. <laughs> but just a little bit, it will just enhance the flavour of the chicken. And, uh, you know, it will just bring out the saltiness, but you won't need to add any more salt in there. So just a bit in there. Mix all that around and that's ready for our chicken. So a little bit later, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to uh, panne the chicken. And just in the meantime, just a little really simple dressing what we're going to make. Sour cream, sweet chilli sauce, a little bit of lime juice in there. And we're going to finish that with some spring onion. And we'll come back a little bit later to finish the dish. Over to you guys. Mike, you're getting a lesson in budget cooking. Yes, that's right, Mel, here in the Mastercraft Kitchen. And food prices, they keep on rising. How do you prepare a delicious family meal if you are on a budget? We're in the right place, because Mark, our resident chef, can help. Uh, what is the secret, Mark? Uh, buying in season. So vegetables, if they're in season, they're going to be really tasty, and they're going to be cheap as well. So just be careful of that. Uh, you don't want to overcomplicate it. Don't put too many ingredients in there. You know, get one nice ingredient. Spend a little bit more money on, uh, you know, free-range organic chicken, so mm -hmm. it makes it really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just sort of uh, get some nice selection of vegetables in season, so you can save some money there. Nice work. I see you've got the humble old carrot today. That's good to see that in use. There you it's go. Cheap, yeah, beautiful. Cheap the old carrot. Okay, cool. So what are we going to do? Right, so uh, we've got two things to do now. We're going to make the Asian slaw and we're going to panne the uh, chicken, which is like crumb the chicken. Okay. So I'm going to leave that in your capable hands. Are you sure you trust me after this? <laughs> I'm going to walk you through it. So basically, you pick the chicken up, mm -hmm. just going to dust it lightly through the flour, right. shake the excess off. Yeah. Then we're going to go into the egg yolk. Uh, do exactly the same, take the excess off, and then we're going to toss it through the panko crumbs. Hang on, it's World Hand Hygiene Day, sir. So that's <laughs> what I usually do. I just leave it running, but no, I'll let you wash my hands today. <laughs> I know, usually you'd spend a lot longer doing this, but time is of the essence, I think that's good. Okay, right. Right, so as you're doing that, mm -hmm. I'm going to make the dressing and I'm going to start the Asian slaw. Okay, so we've got our free-range chicken here. Yep. So we just, what, do that? Yeah, that's so it. So nervous, Mark! That's it, so shake it. Shake it off. Shake the chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shake, the, shake the excess fat off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, then in here. Yeah, then in the eggs. Yep. And so a great tip at home, so you don't get too messy, yep. is just use one hand to put mm -hmm. through the flour, the eggs and the panko. Cream. Okay, cool. And then use your other hand to toss ah, the bowl carefully. Right. Oh, shoot. Okay. Try not to get the breadcrumbs everywhere. Okay, oh, this is good. And there you go. So you get a nice even coat, yep. and then take it out with your clean hand. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you're going to start panning your fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've done it. Like this. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, well, that's a good tip, which I'll use in the future. Yeah, there you go. And that's looking great. And, then, and we're just going to put that on a baking sheet and just lightly uh, grease. So you can get some spray grease just to keep all that oil down so it's nice and healthy. Okay, well, I'll keep doing this and you keep doing that. Right. Okay, cool. So back to the slaw. So we've got a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of soy sauce, and a little bit of sesame oil. And we're just going to whisk that together, and that's just going to be the base of our slaw. Mm. So it's a good idea to do this first, and then we'll chop all the vegetables up, and then we'll just pop it through the dressing. So the vegetables, we've got some uh, red apple, so you can just do some nice slices. If you've got a mandolin at home, this is great for a mandolin. <laughs> I've done it. I've done what you said I shouldn't do. <laughs> anyway, it's all right. I'll carry on. That's fine. So I just keep going. So, and, and this is a great recipe for the kids as well. You know, they, they love chicken, and it, it's a great way of getting different flavours in, into the diet and, you know, get them involved in the kitchen. You know, they, they can't be more messy than Mike. <laughs> Mike! <laughs> I'm really embarrassed because every time I go to do the chicken, I look really confused. <laughs> Which hand should I use? <laughs> anyway. The clean getting... hand, the clean hand. <laughs> OK. Oh, I'm making a mirror of this. But the chicken is looking good, so I'm happy. Um, I'll tell you what, I've noticed in the supermarkets at the moment that they um, are really into their 
free-range chicken, like it's growing on the shelves. You, you, beforehand, you used to just get, you know, one or two, and it used to be quite high oh, priced. But now you go, and it's basically half and half now. So yeah, I mean, that's great as well. And because we, and we've got that selection now, and that choice in the supermarket, you know, the prices are come down a little bit. Still a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth spending a little bit more money on that. You know, the flavour... And right, it's just so much better. Because that's what I was going to ask you when it comes to free range. Is it about the ethical stuff or is it about the flavour? Well, a, a bit of both bit as of well. Both. I mean, definitely ethical as well, you know. I mean, you don't want... Um, you know, same with the eggs, battery, battery eggs yeah. and, um, you know, animals, you... you, you you're going to eat them anyway, so they might as well have a good life. You That's know? right. And I like eating chicken when I know it's had a good life. It just makes it taste so much better. Um, so, yeah, how are you going on your slaw there? All these uh, ingredients, by the way, are on our website, thecafe.co.nz. The recipe, everything that you need. And trust me, I know you don't get to, at home, get to um, eat at the end of the show like we do, <laughs> but I tell you what, everything Mark has made over the past couple of weeks has... <laughs> Incredible. Look at my fingers. What the jury's still out on the chicken at the moment. <laughs> right, OK, cool. Well, I think we'll just carry on. I'll sort out my hands. <laughs> and Mel, you can sort out what's next. Yeah. Right, OK, Mark. Uh, what's going on in the kitchen? Can I just say it is smelling incredible. Yeah. Right, the chicken's come out of the oven, so you can look at that. It's beautifully crumbed and golden. Good job there, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> right, here's our slaw. So, we've got all the carrots in there and all the other ingredients the red cabbage, chilies, spring onions. Yeah. Just going to stir that around. Chop a little bit of coriander through last minute. Mix that up. You know, you don't want it too wet. You know, give it a taste. If you want it more salty, a uh, little bit more soy on there. It's up to you. Or creamier, put some more mayonnaise on there. Just going to pop some on the plate. And then we'll put some of that beautiful crumb chicken on the plate as well. Mm. And we are nearly and done. <laughs> Mel's off to get the knife and fork. She's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? And there you go. That's a great family budget meal. Strawberry. Tasty, and the kids uh, like enjoy it when they uh, help in the kitchen. Nice work. Okay, bring it over here, Mel. Right, getting it at knives and forks, really. It keeps um, forgetting. You don't need them. You just dip them in. Oh. I want to try the slaw, the actually. Slaw. Yeah. Now, remember, you can get all of this at thecafe.co.nz. We've got all the ingredients that you need and how you make it. If I didn't show you well enough. Anyway. <laughs> no, Mike showed you how not to crumb. Mm. Good? Mm. Hot work. <laughs>